How to upload or update your listing photos via image links? This is a question that I got by Jay, one of the subscribers of Sourcing Monster, this channel, and I didn't personally uh, add experience with using flat files to update my listing photos, but of course I tried it out, I explored it and researched, and here I'm going to show you exactly how it works, and I'm sure that not just Jay and many other people that had this question will benefit from this video so make sure that you watch it and understand it even if, even if you don't need to upload your listing photos right now using flat files it's good to have it in mind so when and if you need it in the future you can go and use this video as reference hi this is tomer from sourcingmonster.com where i share with you videos updates and tutorials about amazon fba and e-commerce i'm a seven figure seller and everything that i share with you here is completely free so please do me a favor support my hard work and like this video comment and subscribe so you can get updates for future videos that i upload and all links for everything i'm going to mention and resources will be down below in the description section another reminder i know that i mentioned this a lot throughout the recent videos that i upload about our new sourcing monster facebook group where you can engage with me directly ask me questions ask other people and we are trying to create a community around amazon fba sellers to support each other and grow together so this is an opportunity for you to join and be part of it and i'll put a link to it down in the description section so you can quickly and easily find it out now what are the steps uh to uh first of all we will have to upload our photos to this website it's postimages.org and uh i'll show you exactly how it works so let's go and open it and you will of course upload your own listing photos or the photo that you want to update in this case i have just a dummy photo here and once it's uploaded you want to take this link copy and open it like that okay this is a direct link now sometimes if you don't have the exact link you can click on it and open image in url at the end it needs to have the jpeg um uh, you know extension at the end and without really anything on the web browser if you see like a, pay, a white page with links and all of that that's not a valid link and amazon won't be able to process your image through this link so you must provide the link from the direct link like this one or just click on the photo and open image in new tab okay then you copy this and you're gonna put it in your flat file uh, 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 photos so now i'm going to show you how to do it so of course you go to seller central and you are going to download uh, your inventory file by going to inventory add products via upload i do a video show about flat files how it works so i assume that at this point you already know how flat files work um, and you will have to search for your category and download the matching template i already did download a template here and of course for fit product you will choose the value that is uh, pre-populated here the item skew you will put the skew sometimes when you copy it from manage inventory page it will have like an extra spacing so make sure that you delete any extra spacing for the brand name of course you'll put your brand name it also should be pre-populated and for external product id it's usually the asin you choose from the external product id type you choose the asin um, it's not allowing you to choose because i guess i didn't put here the fields yet but you choose the ASIN, you will have a drop down and here you will put their ASIN name here is the title the manufacturer name will be probably your brand name part numbers part number item type you're going to choose the type that it's also pre-populated from uh the, the file that you downloaded and the unit count it's also that's something that you should put and 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 add here all the fields that are required just put them here and then here we have the main image url if you want to update let's say your main image url with the, this one then you're gonna put the link here and let's say you want to put image number uh, second image as 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 this image then you're gonna put it here <clears throat> and so on so on you're gonna put until image eight um and that's that's what it is very simple very straightforward once you're done you're going to save the file 
go back to seller uh, central and go to the upload your inventory file uh, uh, tab you are going to browse and upload the file that you just saved you're gonna put I always like to put my email here for alert so when the processing is done I can have like I can get an email that shows that the processing is done so this is the email that you will get if the processing went through successfully it should says that the seller the inventory file page ID yada yada that uploaded on specific date has been processed you can receive the full processing report for your file by clicking on this link and um, here is the summary of errors and warnings yada, yada, yada. you need to see that this number of records processed is equal one of course depends on the, how many lines and 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 uh, you know items you updated in this case we did one so it should show one which is matching and it's good and then usually it takes uh, it takes like some time for it to upload but you instantly can go to edit from uh, manage inventory page inventory manage FBA inventory edit go to the images tab and the photo should be there already so very straightforward very forward very simple and if you're stuck or need uh, uh, to upload uh, your listing photos via URL this is how you do it and uh, that's it for this video thank you again for watching Please, again, support me, like the video, comment, share it with anyone that you know that could, you know, this video or channel could help him. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you again for watching.